So hello students, I'm Dr. Pradeep Pawar, Professor of Anatomy. Right. So some, some important things about the humerus, some basic uh, concepts I'll tell you before we go to the main topics. Now students, for the humerus, I'll, I'll just magnify this for you. Yeah. For the humerus, what is this here? What is this? That's the lesser tubercle of humerus, lesser tubercle. What is this for the humerus? That's the greater tubercle, greater tubercle of humerus. Now, what is attached to the lesser tubercle of humerus? Lesser tubercle, what is, what is attached? See, if I draw a slide for you here, I, I'm drawing a slide for you like this. Look, that's a scapula, that's a coracoid process, that's an acromion process, that's a humerus here. This is the lesser tubercle, that's a greater tubercle. Hmm? Lesser tubercle, greater tubercle, correct? This is the medial lip of the bicipital groove, that's a lateral lip of the bicipital groove. So, this is the lesser tubercle, that's a greater tubercle, that's a medial lip, that's a lateral lip of the bicipital groove. In between them is going to be the bicipital groove, also known as the intertubercular sulcus. Perfect. Now students, there's a muscle which begins from this aspect of the scapula. What is this aspect, costal aspect? What is this muscle known as? This muscle is known as the subscapularis, subscapularis. It begins from the costal surface of the scapula and where is this inserted on? Yes, yes, yes. This muscle is inserted on the lesser tubercle. You can get this. So a muscle which begins from the costal surface of the scapula, a muscle which goes and gets inserted on the lesser tubercle, this muscle is known as the subscapularis. Incidentally, students, this subscapularis goes anterior to the shoulder joint, a very, very important relation for you. So, the, Im the immediate anterior relation of the shoulder joint is going to be what? The subscapularis, just after the capsule, the subscapularis muscle, clear? Now, this is a small muscle, it begins from the scapula, gets inserted on the humerus. When this muscle contracts, what does it do? It takes the arm inwards, 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 what's this? the medial rotation. This is medial rotation at the shoulder joint. Medial rotation, that's the subscapularis. Perfect. Now, coming to the greater tubercle. What are the muscles attached to the greater tubercle? There are three muscles. Yes, you, you know this. S-I-T. The supraspinatus, the infraspinatus and the teres minor. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus and the teres minor. Okay. So now, what is attached to this uh, greater tubercle? Supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor. We'll just, uh, I'll just tell you this much only for now. So greater tubercle muscles, supraspinatus, Infraspinatus, teres minor. Clear? Lesser tubercle is what? Subscapularis. Lesser tubercle is the subscapular. So, students, the first muscle here, subscapularis, then is supraspinatus, then is infraspinatus, and then is teres minor. Together, these four muscles are going to surround the shoulder joint. This is what we call as the rotator cuff. Rotator cuff, right? So, these four muscles are going to surround the shoulder joint. It's like a cuff, you know, cuff around the wrist. So, these muscles are going to surround the shoulder joint and this is what we call as a rotator cuff. A very, very, very important MCQ students for you. Rotator cuff is made up of which of the following muscles? So, anteriorly, subscapularis. Then, superiorly is the supraspinatus. And posteriorly is the infraspinatus and teres minor. Teres minor. Now, what is the action of subscapularis? It, it takes the shoulder joint inwards. It rotates it medially. So, what is that? Medial rotation. Infraspinatus and teres minor are present on the posterior aspect. They are behind. So, when they contract, they turn the arm outwards. Outwards. So, what's that? Lateral rotation. Lateral rotation. And what is the action of supraspinatus? Supraspinatus is it at right angles. Yeah, right angles pair. So, when it contracts, it takes the arm outwards. What is this? This is abduction. Abduction at the shoulder joint. Abduction at the shoulder joint. But, students, only 0 to 15 degrees. Like, this is 0, 
to 15 degrees of abduction is done by whom? Supraspinatus. Only 0 to 15 degrees. And this is what we call as initiation of abduction. Initiation of abduction. This is done by whom? Supraspinatus. Okay, I'll just write it down for you. Uh, we'll finish this. So, supraspinatus. What is action? Abduction from 0 to 15 degrees. Abduction from 0 to 15 degrees. Infraspinatus and teres minor, what is action? Lateral rotation. Lateral rotation. Lesser tubercle, what was the muscle? Subscapularis and what is action? Medial rotation at the shoulder joint. Perfect students. I hope this is clear to all of you. So this is about the rotator cuff. Right? Very good. Very good. Very good to all of you. Now.